So we just got to Kona on the big island. We're excited to adventure and explore an island that neither of us have been to before. Yes, this is our first time visiting. Um, tonight we're just gonna walk around Kona and tomorrow we are gonna go full steam ahead with more adventures. I'm excited. I got mango and Caleb got coconut. What is it like? Very yummy. It's one of the only ice creams Caleb can eat because it doesn't have any nuts in it or may contain nuts. What a treat. <laughs> We just got to Hapona Beach and we're gonna do a beach day today. It's a beautiful day, it's nice and sunny. Yeah, honestly, might need to escape to the shade later. Water is literally crystal clear. Tons of fish over there. How's it feel? We're on our way to go do a nighttime snorkel with the manta rays. It is one of the best things to do in the big island. Sydney's really scared. <laughs> I'm slightly terrified. It's in the ocean in the dark and they put like these little blue lights and the manta rays swim under you. You kind of all hold onto a raft. Even though I'm scared, I'm super excited. Caleb is pumped. Just got in our wetsuits. It'll be fine. <laughs> Cannot wait. Caleb's ready to go. Just finished with the manta ray night snorkel. It was awesome. It was incredible. We saw so many manta rays. Like, I know some of them were the same, but probably, what did you say? Like 15, 20 at least? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, like, and they, so the, the um, plankton, like, is attracted to the light, which draws the manta rays. And they were like somewhere down below, but they would like tumble and come up like literally like an inch from your face and your body. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, highly, highly recommend. We had the best time. We just got to Punalulu Beach. It's a black sand beach on the south side of the big island. It's a pretty big beach. It's pretty rocky, so I'm not sure if it's best for swimming, but excited to walk around. So 
Caleb is really good at spotting turtles. He saw one within two seconds of us getting here in the ocean, right? I did. And um, now we're in the little spot where I guess they normally come and lay, but there are none out right now. They're all swimming away in the ocean. Caleb just spotted a turtle, like right one way over there. Yeah. there. There's like three of them. How do you see them? Got good eyes. Yeah, we're literally just walking on the beach. He's like, there's a sea turtle out there. Yeah. Where's the other one? Over there. Oh my god, like two just popped up. I think they just went belly down under, but one was like right in this area and one was right over here. Watching the turtles flip around in the ocean. Caleb has literally seen like 20 of them. There's a couple tiny guys still growing. <laughs> Yeah, they're all, I'm sure you can't see it on this video, but they were like all right in here in the water. When the wave flips, sometimes they like flip and you can see their bellies, but they won't come out on the beach since there's so many people. Um, but they do have a little protected area over here for them to come and relax, but none of them are over there right now. There's probably 15 in front of us right now. Yeah, great snorkel spot, Caleb said. You see lots of turtles. Sydney is trying the malasada from the famous bakery near the Black Sandy. It's called the Punalo Bakery. Um, Caleb couldn't have any because they had some nuts, so I'm going to try it for both of us. What do you mm. think? It's very light. Not as light as like a beignet, but really soft bread with a lot of sugar. We got two. This is a traditional masala. Mala Malasada. It's very good though. We got lunch. We got shrimp plates at the Aloha Mix um, food truck. Very yummy. Literally some of the best shrimp plates. We've had a lot of shrimp plates in Hawaii in our many visits, and this is probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Volcanoes National Park. Crossing another one off the list. Yay! Cannot wait to see, hopefully see some lava and do a crater hike. We're doing a crater room trail around um, the volcano. Um, obviously it's not active, this one. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do that. It's super lush. At the beginning of it, it's like, honestly it reminds us of the PNW, like the whole rainforest area. Um, it's super green, which is kind of surprising, but um, we learned in this video that we watched that it basically, like, lava creates new life. So I think that's why it's so lush here. We're overlooking the crater. Quite crazy looking. Super rainy, so it feels really hazy, but we're gonna go walk down there and it's just a little bit. So on this trail you start at the top of the crater room and then you hike down into the crater where it's like what would you call it like a lava floor? Yeah, so it's like a black lava floor um, that you go into. Be down there. Caleb loves this plant. That's yeah, super unique looking. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it almost looks like a worm. A seahorse, yeah. Upside down seahorse. Lots of cool vegetation here. These trees have the funkiest leaves. They look like they're out of like a Dr. Seuss book or something. <laughs> the way they're just like curled up like little beans. Super cool is there's all this new life spreading out from the lava rocks. Totally 
many different like lava rock I guess. It almost looks like asphalt road, like broken up. The crater that we just hiked and uh, exploded in 1959 um, shot lava 2,000 feet in the air like this this is where we were walking across oh, I'm still reading oh <laughs> Caleb is a big sign reader we read every sign we pass but it's super informative we always know the history of where we are it's quite interesting can't imagine this place being totally lava filled, but it was. Yeah, now it's lush with vegetation. Super cool. So on our hike earlier, we kept seeing um, the steam rising everywhere. And we couldn't really figure out what it was from or like if it was actually steam, but it's steam coming up from the lava. They're called steam vents and they're kind of all over. The steam is warming Caleb up. I guess it's super hot over there. But this is the inside of the steam vent. It looks like a well. <laughs> yeah. Caleb saw some scientific stuff, as he said, in the crater below. And it looks like, what are they doing? Imaging what's below the surface. Imaging inside the crater? Why? See more lava? No, we know all the rocks next to me. In 2018, it caused a lot of transformations. Yeah, look at this one. Before and after. This one's crazy. It's before, after. How much the crater's changed. So our original plan was to stay until dark to watch uh, the lava flow, um, but we apparently didn't do enough research, didn't look it up, but it's not always erupting. Um, it stopped. stopped in March. Yeah, so it hasn't been erupting for a few months, and I think whenever we just saw people going, it was erupting. Um, so we won't get to see any lava, which is kind of sad. Maybe next time. Yeah, we'll definitely be back to see the lava flow. We saw the molten lava, or lava rock but no active like orange flowing lava is happening at the volcano right now. We're walking around Hilo, about to go to the farmer's market. Drinking coconut water, coconut milk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's that? Five dollars, six dollars, eight dollars. I'll do the five dollars. You're wonderful. <laughs> That's a big one. one. <laughs> oh, on eight dollars. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah. Family size. Family size. Family size. Family size. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> How is it? Very yummy. A little warm. <laughs> Five dollars for this thing. That is so cheap. That's crazy. Wanna try it? Nope, it's good. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mm, something to it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Maybe it was colder. We just got to Rainbow Falls. It's a pretty powerful looking waterfall right in the middle of a uh, pillow. Yeah, it's like five minutes from downtown. Just was super random and fun. Um, but we wish we could go down there and go swimming, but 
Um, it definitely is a closed area. I'm sure people still do it because Hawaii is wild like that, but we are admiring it from above. So we're hiking around Akaka State Park. It's kind of like a paved loop with tons of waterfalls around it. About four waterfalls. Yeah, it's super lush. So it's it's more of like a nature walk, but it's super fun. Such cool trees. sign on the side of the road to uh, play with baby goats so naturally we had to stop <laughs> we started screaming because we love baby goats and now we're just in these people's house with goats so we're excited to check it out <laughs> they're like pushing each other off <laughs> Caleb <laughs> <laughs> Caleb wanted to feed the tiny, tiny baby who hasn't gotten any treats yet. <laughs> this one's Caleb's favorite. Tiny, tiny little goat. Oh, hello everyone. Bringing the party. You guys, feeding the baby goat was one of the best little unexpected fun things that we did on the big island. It was literally a dollar for the food and they were uh, so cute and really soft and there was a little tiny guy that was really small so we had to feed him especially because the big guys pushed him out of the way. Oh my god, Caleb loves baby goats and baby cows so today he lived one of his dreams I would say. <laughs> has literally been talking about this Dole Whip non-stop. Which flavors did you get? Coconut and mango. Oh gosh, coconut and mango. Which one's your favorite? Coconut. coconut. I got mango again. Very good. Highly recommend the Dole Whip. <laughs> 